in the mathematics, e to the power of x is by far and away the most important exponential function. But you do see other bases. For example, in computer science, you see a base two a lot, two to the power of x. Uh, due to computer science working with binary numbers. So you should be able to differentiate other exponential functions. Before I put the rule down, let's work it through. Suppose that we have b to the power of x. And when we have exponential functions, that base is always assumed to be positive. Um, the exponential function and the natural logarithm are inverses. Any positive number b is e raised to the power of the natural logarithm of b. Let's take that and let's plug it in b to the power of x is this exponential raised to the power of x. Repeated exponentiation multiplies the powers together. So if we want to differentiate b to the power of x, that's the same as differentiating this thing. Now we know how to differentiate e to the x, we have e to some more complicated expression. This is the chain rule. There's our inside function. Here's our outside function. Uh, don't get confused or tricked into thinking that this is more complicated than it is. The natural logarithm of b is a constant. So this is just a constant times x. And when we use the chain rule, the derivative of a constant times x is the constant. Now, e to the x ln b is b to the x. So if we have an exponential function with a base other than two, other than e, for example, two to the x, this exponential function is almost its own derivative. But 
we have a constant floating around as well. The derivative of two to the x is the natural log of two times two to the x. If we had, let's do a slightly more complicated example before we go. Two to a quadratic, let's say. Well, this is the chain rule. We've got an outside function and an inside function. The derivative of the outside function with the inside function inside of it is this times the derivative of the inside function. So e to the power of x is the one we're going to keep coming back to in this class and count to this two and count to this three, but we can differentiate any power function, sorry, any exponential function.